What is up my friends? It's Ken. This is Sword Month. Uh, at the end of the month, I'm going to give away this training sword. It is blunt at the end. Don't worry. It is a little sharp at the tip though, so you may want to tape the top. Uh, I'm going to go over a few different kinds of swords. This is more of a martial arts style sword, so this is going to be made for more like flourishes and striking. Now, I am not going to teach you how to fight with a sword, just how to look stylish, how to get into a certain kind of flow. There are going to be moves that are inspired off martial arts, but I'm not going to be teaching you how to cut someone with a sword. It's pretty simple. You go chop, 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 and then they go chop, 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 and they fall. I have to give the disclaimer, do not use a sharp sword. Always use your parents' discretion if you're a kid, always have a parent watching, and if you're an adult, you know, you know, be safe. Today we're gonna be working on martial arts swords and what I'd like to do is because we have this sword, we have this awesome sheath and I figure we could have some fun. So I've decided to, I started working on some ideas for just fun ways to unsheath your swords and things you can do. We're gonna get in a wide stance, okay? So here's shoulder width, we're gonna get even wider and we're gonna grab our sword with our thumb pushing across so it can push the sword open just by a little bit of pressure. We're gonna put it like right at the top. Our other hand's gonna grab the hilt very close and we're gonna take the sword and right now we're not gonna attach it to our belt. We're just gonna hold it down here by our hip, okay? From here, we're gonna tilt the sword kind of upward and at an angle, almost at the same angle that my leg is at. See that? So my leg's here, this is kind of tilted at the same way. Pull it down, push it out with the thumb so the thumb opens up the sword. Get low, get ready, get in a really low, deep stance. Hand's gonna start to open up like this, so it's kind of shifting it out. And then we're gonna twist our body, and as we twist our body, it opens up, uh, and it's actually gonna be almost like a snap that causes the slash. All together, boom, like that, okay? When you get done with the slash, what I really wanna see is really low. Let's say you're doing some sort of cool action movie and you go to unsheath your sword, but then some guy's hand blocks it, Ugh, like this. I wish I had a person right now. This would be so much easier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a step this direction and you're gonna pull the other side, and this is gonna cross over and kind of, well, you're gonna try to, it's gonna aim for the face, boom. So it's here, oh, they stop you, smack, like this, right? From here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna slap down and slash down. So all in one motion, it's gonna be, I'm gonna try to open it up, they stop me, I take a step over to the side and this slashes down. This would be almost like I'm, I'm using my elbow to reinforce and I'm pushing it down by their neck, right? From here, I can either step sideways or I can be more theatrical and almost jump with it. But we're gonna unleash the sword as we spin across, spin and slash. Try it a couple more times. Oh, smack, whoosh. <laughs> Again. Open it up, they catch it, their hand is in the way. We're just gonna step to the side and hit it. Or we're gonna, bah, here, step back, slash. Or like I said, the other option, if we're getting fancy, because we're not really doing techniques here, they grab it, they hit here, and then. Okay, blade is down right now, right? <laughs> blade is down. Another cool thing that we can do, is we're gonna pull this upwards now, whoosh, like this, to so it's almost uh, vertical, and then we're gonna put the sword behind our head, like this, so, whoosh, whoosh. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull both directions. The blade should be facing away from your neck. You should not be cutting your neck right now. It should be facing away from your neck. Why? Because the blade is down here, faces up and away, see that? So here, whoosh. either way it's blunt, right? <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna pull it up here. My hand's gonna slide back. We're gonna pull it out like so until it's fully until it's fully open. And from here, we're gonna take a step forward, and both sides are gonna slash through, whoosh, like that. Don't you love my sound effects? So it's here. Roll it to the top. Whoosh. From here, we're just gonna do something very simple. The, this okay. So both our hands are crossed right now, right? Um, why don't I just describe this a little bit more in detail? comes over here, we grab it from the top, comes out, we're slashing across one hand, obviously the sword is a little bit higher than the other, and it faces outward, it's ready to go again. So once it gets done moving its trajectory, we're gonna roll our hand over so it faces it. From here, 
we're gonna let this sit back on the deltoid of my arm and this is gonna slash up almost like it's bap, hitting the neck or the face whatever you want from here this is gonna actually roll over so it's kind of almost like where it's by the neck just like where it was originally and we're gonna twist her body and it's gonna slash down and across now you notice the blade is pointing towards but then every time it comes towards my body it rotates away so from here it's towards and away this is a nice little fancy move we'll, we'll take this all in one fell swoop here put your sword here here swing swing slash and whatever you want to do after that instead of grabbing an overhand grip where my thumb is facing towards the blade side it's gonna go the opposite way we're gonna go in reverse grip like this okay all we're gonna do is we're gonna slash down and as it comes up it's gonna rotate in a circle getting ready to do a throw so here slash up and we're gonna do this catch now I did that all in one fell swoop this is gonna take some time to be able to get this catch and again you're using a blunt sword right you are not using a bladed sword doing this <laughs> be crazy as it's coming down, because the balance point is so far away, we have to kind of isolate the circle. What I mean to say is, if the center of the, if the center of balance of a sword is close to where your hand is, then it doesn't have to do that much work. But because the center of balance is farther up, when we do throws, we're gonna have to kind of create like this longer circular pattern before we let go in order for it to reach the pinnacle of the center line. So. When I do this, I'm gonna create a big looping circle like this. Whoosh! And this is gonna cause uh, the force to go more in towards the center. So by the time I create this big half moon, I'm letting go the moment I hit to the top, and then I'm spotting it, and I'm just looking for the handle. Now again, this is good to practice if you uh, have like a staff or a wooden sword. Don't try it with a real sword, ever. Besides, whenever you're ever gonna use this, like a real sword like this anyways, but it's just a fancy little nice way to do it. Again, it comes down, half circle up. The moment it hits the top, you're gonna kind of give it a sideways twist, but while it's isolating, so it's like and you're gonna catch it. Now, you can catch it in all different kinds of directions. Just be sure, once you catch it, you're gonna try to either, if it's not, if you, if you grab it and the blade is facing the correct, in the correct way, awesome if it's facing the wrong way all you have to do is just basically do some sort of motion to get it back in in rotation one last fancy catch it looks like this so the center of my balance is right here this is where i'm going to put i'm going to put my elbow out so my left hand is going to be holding the sword my my right elbow is going to be sticking out like so so it's almost like i'm standing with uh perpendicular my arm is perpendicular to where my body is going this direction, okay? We're gonna put the elbow out so it's sticking straight out, and we're basically gonna try to roll this thing across the center of balance. It's gonna go across the top of my elbow. So wherever the center of balance is on the sword, right here, is gonna be where it's gonna be sitting on my elbow. So that means I have to grab it a little offset when I lay it up here. I have the right hand reach underneath and it's gonna roll across the top like this. Now this is gonna wanna keep rolling and here's the trick. As this rolls forward, my hand rolls forward with it. So what you can do, at least to practice, is keep the center of balance on top of your hand like this, on top of your hand. The other hand's gonna grab here and you're just gonna practice this motion like this. Cause this is the motion that's probably gonna be the trickiest. The moment it rolls over this way, your hand's gonna grab it like so. So in slow motion, it's gonna go here, right? And then this is gonna roll, the hand sticks out like this, and as it continues its roll, it's gonna reach into your hand. From here, we're just gonna turn her back, and it's gonna, we're gonna basically return it over into the hand, and pull in opposite directions. Um, yeah, so. So thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoyed the very first sword video. There's gonna be plenty more, I'm gonna do different kinds of sword, but I thought that today would be pretty fun since I ended up getting a sword that had a scabbard. And don't forget, Patreon donors, one of them is going to randomly be selected to win this sword. I will ship it out to you provided you're in the United States. You might have to help me if you're outside of uh, outside of the States. One lucky donor is going to win this. It's a, it's a blunt sword, so you can train with it. Be careful though, it is a little sharp at the tip still. I may blunt it before the end, but uh, I hope you enjoyed. 
leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I know this isn't Chucks. We're still going to be doing some Chucks this month as well, but hope you're enjoying Sword Month. Keep them swinging.